Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, we're going to skip the warm up today. Thank you. We're going to skip the warm up today and go right into the activity because I want to give you guys enough time to work on it. So we're going to do one of them together and kind of get the feel of it. And then you guys are going to have to do the rest. So over on Google Classroom, we have a new math assignment that's called Who Done It? So let's go ahead and get those slides opened up. You're going to be using the skills that we learned this week and last week with the mean, median, mode, and range to solve a mystery. No, not like the ting, the king tut stuff. It's, uh, I don't know. We'll read the mystery and you'll know what it's about in a minute. Or you can wait and do one with us so you make sure you do it correctly. So I'm going to give you guys about one minute just to get this pulled up so that you have it and you can follow along with us. Zooming into 100 is pretty good. Everybody should have their own set of slides for this. Yoshi. Thank you. So let's go ahead and go over what you're going to be doing. So on slide number two, it has the instructions. It says, six contestants on a reality TV show were stunned to find out that their lowest scoring colleague was injured. You must figure out the crime before the end of the day. The question is, who done it? And how the player, last known whereabouts, and the method that are left unaccounted for is the solution. So you guys need to figure out who did it, where they were, and how they did it. Very much like Clue, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, so you have to give it in a straight line across? I don't know. We have to read the instructions. Okay. Thank you. So, number one says, in this document, you will find 10 clues that you must crack. Be sure to show all necessary work in the space provided. It's a little bit difficult. Um, I'm not gonna require the work in the space, but you need to do the work to get the correct answer, so. Um, you can take a photo of your work and answer it. If you prefer to do that, I'm not gonna make you take a photo of the work. I'll know you got it correct if you get the answer correct. Number two, each correct answer will rule out either a player, a last known whereabouts, or a method. When you get this clue, you need to mark it off of the who is the criminal slide, which is our page, which is on slide three. Is that why you don't really know what that is this one? Yeah. All right. After all, uh, after you collect all 10 clues, there will be only one possibility remaining. It will reveal the crime. You will write a sentence that uh, on the very last one that includes who the criminal is, where the location of the crime was, and the method they used to cause the injury on the what happened page, which is slide 14. So we're going to do one of them together just to show you guys the process of what needs to get done. And then I'm going to let you guys work on it to figure out who injured the person on the TV show. Nice little crime here. So slide number three is where you're going to cross things out. Um, when you get an answer, you'll come back up here and you'll cross off either the person, the place, or the method that happened so that you're crossing off. The you're crossing out the things that is that you know. So it's like Clue where you cross off the things that you know so that you're left with only the things that are the issue, right? Like what happened. So if it says that Miss Beta has an alibi and she wasn't in the place where it took place, then it can't be Miss Beta, so you would put an X over that because it's not her, right? So the things that are left are no, the things that are left is your answer of who did it, where they did it, and how they did it. So the empty boxes at the end are going to be your answer to the problem. So let's start with clue number one. That's slide number four. Um, not necessarily. We'll show, I'll show you. Again, if I finish, we'll go over it. Um, the first one uh, is find the mode. So what is the mode? First of all, what's another word for mode? 
the most. We need to figure out what number is happening the most in our data set. Which number do you see the most? Eight. eight. If you want to add text up here, you can say eight happens the most. I'm not going to require this part. You just need to figure out what the mode is. So the mode is eight. There's a box over here in the corner. You guys see this box over here? It's a highlighter box. You put it on the number eight and then just stretch it out if it'll stretch for you. There it goes. So it gives you a clue about what happened to the person or what did not happen. In this case, it says the victim was not injured by a cougar. So we need to go to our uh, who. Sure. I don't know. Eight is the most. It says that the victim was not attacked by a cougar. So where do I put an X on this this part of the screen? On the cougar attack because they were not attacked by a cougar. So we put an X there. They cannot be attacked by a cougar. So we've answered one of the slides already. Should we do one more together? Okay. So because, you got a question? No? You're looking at me like you had a question. No? Yeah, you, Mr. Turner. <laughs> no, you're just looking at me like you had a question. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, so clue number one we have done we answered that question so now we need to go to clue number two which is slide number five let's do this one together so i'm going to do it kind of up here just to show you guys so we have one uh two four five six seven eight i'm going to make this a little bit bigger these are our numbers in the data sets. We need to find the median. How do you find the median? Find the middle number. So, good. Least to greatest. Is this in least to greatest already? Yeah, this one's already in least to greatest. So we just need to cross off from the outsides in. So I'm going to get rid of the one. Where's the strike through button? It's fine. Can't find the strike through. That's okay. So the one doesn't is not part of it. Not the eight. Then we have the 2 and the 7, and then the 4 and the 6, and we're left with 5 as our answer, which a few of you guys said. Good. 5 is our answer for the median. So we got to move our highlight box. Whoa, what just happened? I five you don't have to. Oh. I was just showing some work. So we're going to move our highlight box over the 5. And it gives us more information that we can cross things off. This one says that Miss Beta was baking cookies in the kitchen. So she has an alibi. They know where she was when this injury happened. So what can we go back up here and cross off on our slides? Miss Beta. Beta did not do it. We can cross off Miss Beta. Can we cross off a where? We can cross off the kitchen because if Miss Beta was in the kitchen, we know that the, the injury and the victim was not hurt in the kitchen. Because Ms. Beta would have seen it, right? Does this make sense, what you need to do? Okay, your goal is to finish this and figure out who did it. Who done it? That's the goal. Who done it? So I will um, just let you guys be working on that. All of them. Uh, you got to finish all the slides to figure out the answer. Oh, we did numbers, one, clue number one and clue number two. Uh, is that slides four and five? Then yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey. So I have attendance all taken. So I'm going to stop our recording here and let you guys just be working on it. Those of you all.